Hello and welcome to today's webinar, Bringing File Services to the Hyperconverged Enterprise Cloud. On this webinar, you'll learn how to combine cloud agility and enterprise performance in your data center with Nutanix files. Today's webinar is sponsored by Nutanix and produced by Actual Tech Media. My name is David Davis of Actual Tech Media, and I'm excited to be your moderator on today's event. I'm honored to introduce you to today's presenter. That is Mr. Devin Helms, marketing strategist at Nutanix and an expert on the Nutanix file solution. Thanks for being on the event today, Devin. Thanks very much, David. Uh, just a little bit more housekeeping before we get started. I know you're raring to go, Devin. You got a lot of cool content to cover today. A um, few things for the audience, though, before we do. Uh, first off, we want this to be a really educational event, so we encourage everyone out there to ask questions. Use the questions box there in the GoToWebinar control panel. We have engineers responding to questions during the live event while Devin's presenting, but we'll also have a dedicated Q&A session at the end of the event as well, where Devin will be discussing in greater detail some of the top questions that you ask on today's event. Now, second thing I want to point out is that in the handout section there in the GoToWebinar control panel, you'll find five different handouts that we've prepared for today's event. So we've got, first off, a PDF of today's presentation. We've got the Nutanix Files white paper, the Nutanix Files data sheet, the Nutanix Files tech note, and that covers the Nutanix Files architecture and data protection system. And then finally, there's a case study there about how the University of Reading achieves simple scale, agility, and self-service automation with Nutanix files. So make sure that you download those. We want you to have as, as many resources as possible about the Nutanix file solution to share with your friends and colleagues um, who might not be on today's event. And then finally, at the end of the webinar, some of you may have heard that we're giving out a prize on the event today. We've got a $300 Best Buy gift card to give out to one lucky attendee on the live event. I'm sorry if you're watching this webinar on demand, the drawing has already happened. But uh, if you are the winner on today's event, you can optionally donate the value of the gift card to one of our selected charities. Uh, many people have been doing that and uh, we are very thankful uh, to anyone who generously decides to donate um, to a charity. We've raised thousands of dollars uh, to these, these charities that we've selected through our Megacast, Ecocast and, and webinar events. So we appreciate that in advance if you choose to do so. Now, the official prize terms and conditions of today's prize drawing can be found at actualtechmedia.com. If you scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll find the prize terms and conditions uh, link there, all the legalese is there. And with that uh, introductory information out of the way, it's time to get started with today's event. Take it away, Devin. Thanks very much, David. And uh, thanks everybody for joining me today. As David mentioned, my name is Devin Helms and I'm with the Nutanix Files team. And I'd like to start today off by uh, talking to you about how organizations like yours are using HCI or what we're calling enterprise cloud file storage to do a number of things, eliminate silos, simplify management, and most importantly, modernize the aging file infrastructure that a lot of organizations have. But uh, first, uh, just some legalese real quick. I want to be able to give you the best of what we have and the best of what's coming in the next month or so. So some of what we discussed today is going to include some forward-looking statements. The accuracy of these statements depends on predictions about the future. So please understand that any statements in this session should not be taken as a promise or a guarantee. And with that out of the way, uh, let's talk a little bit about where, we, where we've come from from a file storage perspective. Um, first. Uh, as, as we talk about modernizing a, aging file infrastructure, a common question that a lot of people might ask is, why does this matter now? File storage has been around for a long time, and so what people want to know is, what's different today? Why does modernizing file storage matter today? And first, while not a new trend, the growth in data storage continues rapidly. Uh, and in fact, over 80% of that growth is predicted to be in the unstructured space. That means file and object storage. So a significant amount of storage footprint uh, is going to be in that unstructured space, and it's growing at a significant rate. So there are a lot of different people who have challenges from, from this massive growth. Probably the person that feels it the most is the IT administrator or the storage administrator. And they have difficulty uh, managing their demand and managing the, the needs of, of their organization. 
especially when struggling to integrate proprietary hardware and multiple different panes of glass to manage their infrastructure. They're also saddled with security and control management issues, uh, often with older tools that don't allow for multi-tenancy uh, or file analytics or file data management. They also struggle to meet availability requirements. And this is especially true when updates and upgrades often require so much downtime. And all of that leaves them spending most of their time just keeping the lights on, rather than doing valuable and strategic work that helps drive the business forward. But it's not just the IT administrators that have, this, have these pains. There are other stakeholders in the environment that feel pains as well. Application owners are a great example. They struggle with managing their own storage requests. And because tools that uh, provision storage require specialized skills, this often results in a longer IT provisioning time, a longer storage provisioning time for them, uh, which can create constraints on their own project flow. Beyond the uh, application owners, line of business owners see the legacy storage uh, systems as siloed systems, and they create uh, greater cost friction because the upfront capital cost and the long-term operational cost to manage these storage systems. But they also create challenging in terms of forecasting because it's hard to figure out what you'll need when you have to buy in bulk up front. This often leads to uh, over-provisioning or even worse, under-provisioning storage resources. So HCI, or hyper-converged infrastructure, has emerged as a way for organizations of any size to get the best of the cloud and the best of their owned infrastructure in a private cloud. Nutanix pioneer, pioneered HCI to break down silos of traditional IT infrastructure and create a simple to operate and scale software defined infrastructure. Our enterprise cloud operating system powers Nutanix's industry leading hyperconverged infrastructure solution, providing a single solution that delivers all of the IT services needed to provision and run nearly any application at nearly any scale. As such, we've completely re architected how storage is delivered and managed for business applications, providing a scale out storage fabric that is highly performant, resilient, and flexible. We've also invested heavily in design, bringing two true consumer-grade simplicity to otherwise complex and tedious storage management operations. The result is that Nutanix absorbs storage into a larger data center-wide OS, eliminating the need for expensive storage specialists. A little less than two years ago, we introduced Nutanix Files as part of our file storage offering. This leveraged the decades of Nutanix engineering for the AOS environment, that we were able to, so that we were able to deliver an enterprise-grade file storage solution that brings the same simplicity of Nutanix AOS to the file storage space. That's breaking down silos for file storage and simplifying storage management. Nutanix Files provides simple storage management and it deploys in minutes and includes an advanced load balancing and self-healing recommendation engine that keeps your file storage environment operating at peak performance levels without disruption. It scales easily and non-disruptively. Linear scale is achieved by adding nodes, allowing for scale to petabyte range of storage with billions of files and with trillions of files and billions of directories. Capacity-based storage licensing allows you to pay for only what you need when you need it, eliminating waste of over-provisioning or the risk of under-provisioning storage resources. And Nutanix Files leverages the Nutanix Enterprise Cloud OS platform to provide enterprise class services, including support for the most common protocols compression and deduplication for space saving, encryption for security, as well as data protection, snapshotting, cloning, and replication for data protection. So what does this mean for the people and the problems that we mentioned a moment ago? Well, for your IT administrator who spends 80% of their day on break fix, Nutanix files single click load balancing and self healing will allow them to spend far less time just keeping the lights on. Similarly, single click upgrades scale out and provisioning will let them increase the ability, the availability of file storage services while also speeding up the time to deliver to stakeholders and freeing them from the previously time consuming and disruptive activities. New and unique file analytics solutions provide deep insight into the data that lives on the file storage, giving administrators greater control of the data, which is particularly important at the massive scale that the data deluge will bring, where users are measured in thousands, devices are measured in the millions, and files are measured in the billions. Application owners have a wealth of self-service options to eliminate bottlenecks from their provisioning process. 
Self-service portals allow anyone with permissions to provision the services they need when they need them. And REST APIs allow, to, allow for automation and provisioning as part of common workflows frequently used in DevOps delivery models. Self-service and automation results in time to deliver short storage services measured in minutes rather than days and eliminating the bottleneck the application owners previously struggled to overcome. And business owners will appreciate the pay-as-you-grow aspects of Nutanix Files capacity licensing. This lets them consume only what they need when they need it. Nutanix also supports many different hardware configurations, including off-the-shelf commodity hardware, providing even greater savings to organizations. And of course, predictable, linear, non-disruptive scale makes planning for the future simple and reliable. With 10 years of development on the underlying Nutanix Enterprise Cloud and nearly two years of development on Nutanix Files specifically, specific functionality, we provide an enterprise ready storage solution. But the question is, with all of the other solutions on the market for file storage, why Nutanix Files? What's different and what's better? And rather than tell you all of the different things that an enterprise file storage solution does that Nutanix Files also does, Let's focus on three areas where Nutanix Files provides unique, differentiated value over the competition. First, Nutanix Files is incredibly simple to, a simple solution to manage. We leverage the Nutanix Prism interface, and Nutanix Files provides single-click simplicity for operational management for many IT tasks. This includes self-healing, problem remediation, provisioning, load balancing, and updating your file storage uh, operating system environment. And with PRISM, Nutanix files can be managed in context of Nutanix HCI or AOS environment from a single pane of glass. Next, Nutanix files, like Nutanix AOS, breaks down silos by creating a single pool of storage, network, and compute resources. Literally, linearly scaling is simple with non and non-disruptive and can be accomplished by adding nodes or by, by adding file server virtual machines to your environment to handle more concurrent connections. And finally, Nutanix Files is built with unique capabilities that give you better knowledge about the data you're hosting for better management of your file data. Our, our native file analytics engine provides a wealth of information about usage trends, permissions, lineage, and anomaly detection. When considering simplicity, the first thing you might ask yourself is how many different management interfaces you need to access to manage your file storage today with your existing infrastructure. Hyperconvergence solves the fundamental problem of silos between compute storage and virtualization in the legacy three-tier data center. The same silo existed on the management side with different vendors for man managing each of their different interfaces in the three-tier stack. The problems get compounded if you bring in virtualization management, operational analytics, app automation, multi-cloud management. So imagine the number of tools you would need to use to manage your entire data center. Nutanix Prism solves this problem by providing a single pane of glass like the eye in the sky with visibility across all of these different elements, thereby providing consolidated management. Our customer, customer delight is our key guiding principle when it comes to management. Prism would remind you of an Apple or a Tesla UX experience. For Nutanix, this means not, that not only can you manage every aspect of your file storage from this easy to use single pane of glass, including deployment and provisioning, as well as data protection and operational management, but you can also use the same tool to manage the rest of your environment. Management through Prism is optimized for single click simplicity for many different operations and eliminates the need for highly specialized knowledge for multiple management interfaces. To prove the claim of single click simplicity, take the example of a common activity such as performance rebalancing. Nutanix Files constantly monitors your environment for hotspots and potential risks. In the example on screen, we see our file server VMs are being hit hard by a project team working on Proj1 folder. Sales and engineering are also using the same FSVM environment. Nutanix Files recognizes this heightened activity, and not only does it identify the problem, but it recommends a remediation. In this case, Nutanix Files sees that FSVM2 is being hit, and it sees that FSVM1 is underutilized. It makes a recommendation to move the sales directory non-disruptively from FSVM1 to balance the load. The administrator approves the move from FSBM1 to FSBM2 with a single click 
and the move is conducted by Nutanix files automatically, and again, non-disruptively. Scale up is similarly easy. We can extend the same example of simplicity to the scale up with Nutanix files. In this example, you can scale up simply by adding FSVM resources, such as CPU, RAM, and storage to existing uh, nodes, uh, to existing FSVMs. In the case on screen, we have thousands of users accessing file services. A sudden surge of access, perhaps due to the expansion or acquisition of a new division, results in many more users accessing the same file data. As a result, they begin heading the FSBM1 uh, file server hard, resulting in poor performance. But once again, Nutanix Files recognizes the increased demand and makes a recommendation to add resources such as CPU, RAM, uh, or RAM to the existing file server virtual machine. Once again, a single click action approves the changes to the FSBM and the resources are allocated, providing remediation and scaling up the SFVM to handle the new workloads. Nutanix Files can scale out on its existing cluster, either by adding FSBMs or adding physical nodes to the Nutanix Files cluster, which results in linear scalability of performance improvements based on the physical resources in the new nodes. In the case on screen, we have our thousands of users again accessing file storage. But once again, expansion results in many hundreds of thousands of additional users accessing the storage clusters. A single click operation can add a new FSBM and redirect users to the new FSBM for resource access, reducing the bottlenecks of the previous configuration. An exciting development for Nutanix files is the release of our capacity-based licensing. Now existing Nutanix customers can expand file storage independently from their Nutanix HCI deployment, consuming only what they need when they need it. New customers who have file storage specific needs can choose can choose uh, or who are looking uh, for an easy way to introduce HCI into their environment can deploy Nutanix files in a standalone configuration, again, pay, paying only for what they need by capacity. For example, an organization may decide to deploy a uh, files only environment. In this case, they may want to license only half of the storage on the node that they implement. Nutanix files makes it easy for them to only license that part of the node capacity by simply licensing that section of the capacity. As they expand, they may want to add additional licenses to expand to the remaining node. And again, this is a simple process by purchasing the additional licenses. They can add additional physical capacity by adding physical nodes and licensing them for file storage. Or they can add nodes and use them for something other than file storage, such as block storage for AHV or block storage for applications. They can even split a single physical node between different types of storage, including file, block, and in the near future, object storage. For our existing customers, one of the key things to note is that with the introduction of this new licensing, many of our existing customers get, to get the entitlement to the Nutanix files licensing immediately. So if you're interested in Nutanix files and you already have a Nutanix files cluster, be sure to ask your Nutanix rep or partner about the new license entitlement. Our latest developments for Nutanix files is file native analytics. This innovative tool is fairly unique and provides deep insights into the data on your data file storage. You can see how data is used over time, who is using it, and what permissions the, have been changed over time. And you can even see the potential for anomalies such as malware or ransomware with anomaly detection. So let's switch gears and take a couple of minutes to look at uh, Nutanix File Interface in action. Nutanix File en Analytics Engine is a powerful tool to see the data on your data. The interface you see before you is the front end of a robust RESTful API that can be integrated with third-party auditing tools. For example, we are already leveraged by NetWix, and in the near future, you will be able to use other tools such as Stealthbits and Veronis for file data auditing. When you connect to your analytics engine, right away, you'll see the top-level dashboard with the most important information on capacity, permissions violations, file distribution, and potential anomalies. You can uh, click through to see in the capacity section, right here, that uh, what, what the capacity has been added over the last couple of weeks. This data and the trend line can help you see what your growth trends have been 
and if you're at risk of running out of resources. Permissions uh, details can be seen easily to act, can be or easy to access as well. From here, you can see who has made attempts to access files that, that they didn't have permissions on. This could also be an attempt to open files, or you can drill down and see details on the permissions denials that were attempted in the last couple of days. Oftentimes, these permission denials can tell you about bad actors before they've had a, sa a chance to successfully make changes to your environment. Another way to track unauthorized access is through anomaly detection here. And this is a quick view of the, of the actions, uh, sorry, this is a quick view of the actions to take uh, for different types of anomalies. So you can set up different rules to track different activities which show up as anomalies in the environment. When defining these rules, you can specify what types of anomalies you're looking for. For example, if a user were to change the permissions of 1,000 files in, one hour, in, in a one hour period, that might indicate a ransomware infection as the permissions and metadata for encryption are all treated as part of the uh, properties change. This can be configured as shown in the, in the uh, configuration screen to allow for many different types of anomaly detection. Finally, a lot of our customers are curious to know what kinds of data are being stored. You can easily see the file types common to the environment down in this file type section to show you what type of data is being stored in your environment. Today, we have a, a static set of files uh, classification, but in the near future, you'll be able to define your own file type for your specific environmental needs. So since we've been in the market for a few years, we're pleased with the adoption rate we've gotten, and we attribute that to delivering real tangible value to our customers. One great example is the University of Reading. The University of Reading is a research institution in Reading, England. They adopted Nutanix files in the early days of the product. Their environment was originally made up of legacy uh, external controller-based storage systems, such as NetApp and EMC Isilon. And they need a cost-effective way to consolidate file storage services onto a single platform that would grow with their needs and free them from the tedious provisioning and break-fix grind. The results speak for themselves. From simplicity perspective, University of Reading was able to leverage the single pane of glass management of PRISM to manage all of their storage resources and VM resources from that one point. They were able to deliver storage resources on demand and often through self-service portals. They were able to achieve fast growth from just a, few hundred, uh, just a few hundred terabytes to nearly a, a petabyte from their implementation. In fact, Ryan Kennedy, the academic team manager, is fond of saying that he was most grateful for Nutanix because he was able to get his nights and weekends back rather than spending them doing disruptive upgrades, as was the case with the legacy system. And they were able to achieve savings on par or better than enterprise storage systems with a 16 to one compression ratio of their data. Ryan and team plan to continue to, to retire legacy ECB storage systems and grow their Nutanix footprint because of the ease of use, the scale, and the enterprise level capabilities. Yeah, great presentation, Devin. Thank you very much. Um, I'm really excited about the Nutanix file system myself. I really need to get that uh, going in my lab environment. Cool solution. Uh, we do have a prize winner selected today for the Best Buy $300 gift card. That is going out to Drew Jarvis from Michigan. Congratulations to Drew. And uh, again, if you'd like to make a donation to charity, we would love to help you do that. If you didn't win, best of luck to everyone on a future uh, event over on our website. Uh, and with that, any final closing words today, Devin? No, thanks everybody for joining us today. And uh, please do take a look at some of the resources we provided and uh, join us at Nutanix.com. Awesome. Well, thank you everyone for joining us on today's event. Make sure you download the resources. And of course, you can do the uh, free trial evaluation uh, over at Nutanix.com. Make sure you check out Nutanix files and learn more. Thanks a lot, Devin, for presenting today. Thank you, Nutanix, and have a great day. Thank you.